simple thought I recognize Can't you see their beauty in my mind? All right, welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Last time we left off, we were going to read the other girl's poems, but... If I recall, Yuri wasn't in the room, she got all embarrassed and ran off into the hallway. So Monica, kind of out of character, decided let's just do it without her. Which is kind of interesting. Anyway, let's get back into it and see exactly what's going on. Who should I show my poem to first? Well, I guess since Monica is so determined to have her poem read before the other girls and will even do it without Yuri being in the classroom. I figure we might as well start with her. I should start with Monica. Uh, yesterday, she seemed eager to read my poem, and I want her to know I'm putting in effort. Hi, Tyler. Having a good time so far? Um, sure. <laughs> uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. Yeah, I'm on to you and your dark-ass ways. By the way, since you're new here and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. You're always listening, are ya? Well, that's reassuring. Don't be afraid to bring up things, okay? She's always listening. <laughs> Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. Much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Tyler. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But that's the sort of barrier that we'll all have to learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. Great job, Tyler. I was going, oh, in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. Easy is for me to keep everyone's expectations low. <laughs> that way it always counts when I put some effort. <laughs> That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism? Yeah, I'm a little concerned about that symbolism of hers. <laughs> Um, sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is totally detached from reality. You don't say. <laughs> I don't mean that like it's a bad thing, though. But sometimes I get the impression that she's just totally given up on people. Relatable, alright. She spends so much time in her own head, that's... Wait, she spends so much time in her own head that it's probably a much more interesting place for her. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must be really starved for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. I, I don't mind her coming on strongly, I'm more so concerned about how she relates to this book. I mean, there may be something completely innocent about it, maybe she's not cray cray, but you can see why, like, just the, like, Overshadowing and everything that she says and does seems just a little off base. Like, even if she's not crazy, at the very least, she's a little dark, which I guess I can relate with because I am too at times, and I think that's a little offsetting for some people. Uh, like earlier, I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for some alone time. Suddenly, the door opens. Yuri! I'm back! Speak of the devil. <laughs> Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started sharing our poems with each other. Eh? Already? I'm sorry for being late. Well, shouldn't we be sorry for not waiting for you? What kind of friends are we? Damn. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more than glad that you took all the time you needed. Alright. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should go get my poem now. Anyway, do you want me to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. Well, what do I mean, you read it? Don't, don't you normally let us read it? That seems a little different than before. Alright. Um, don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. 
Reminds me of a book I read recently. There's a girl in it that was just like, I always have to be confident, always gotta be the go-getter, go! That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? <clears throat> I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in a wall. But he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glanced at my surroundings. But my burned eyes can no longer see color. Are there others in this room? Are they talking? Or are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper? The sound of frantic scrawling playing tricks on my ears. The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. He's right there. I swallow my fears. I brandish my pen. Hole in a wall. I, I recognize the, the name of the poem. Have we read this before? I can't remember. I don't think we did. I mean, I think the the title is the same, but I think maybe the, some of the words or all of the words changed. I think the poem's actually different. Hmm. All right. So, what do you think? Hmm. It's very free form, if that's what you'd call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. Yeah, you've said that before. Um, it's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Hmm, not necessarily. I w I'd actually like to hear people's thoughts like that. You know, I think that's what makes life more interesting is when people aren't trying to hide behind that metaphorical mask and they're more likely to, you know, tell tell you what their deeper thoughts are, if you will. Anyway, maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper, and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. It, doesn't she normally say that's Monica's tip for today? It's the same text as before, but I, I'm pretty sure that's the way she normally ends it, but I could be wrong. Thanks for listening. <clears throat> Alright. Who should I show my poem to next? Um, I honestly think they're going to take Natsuki out. I, I, I just have this overwhelming feeling that she's going to be, like, killed off or something bad's going to happen to her. Because it sounds like she has an abusive dad, you know, because she's, like, innately fearful. Like, oh, God, you heard about the baking. i got to get home and I have to eat dinner or else my father's going to be furious. No, I mean, it could be just an overbearing parent, but you kind of sit there and go, I wonder, you know? So we're going to go with Yuri and then we'll go with Natsuki last just because I want to try to keep her off the burner. <laughs> Maybe if we give her less attention, uh, things will go better for her. Who's to say? Dot, dot, dot. As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional. Really? All of a sudden, the girls just love my poems? Um, alright. Eh? What was that? Question mark. Did I just say that out loud? Yuri, fir <laughs> Yuri first covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole face. Ah, I, ooh, he's going to hate me. Um, you really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Why would you think we hate you for saying it's good? <laughs> eh? That's, I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? Good question. <laughs> Yuri takes a breath. So... What kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery and metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. 
Um, just, just the poetry before the game reset, but I mean, if that reset, why would our skill level not reset? That's kind of interesting. All right. R really? <laughs> My thoughts exactly. <laughs> well, that's a huge compliment coming from you. This is my- this is actually my first time, really. Is it really, Tyler? Is it really? <laughs> huh? Yuri stares at me blankly, then looks at my poem again. Thud, thud, thud. Well, I know that. <laughs> you don't have to be that confident in yourself, but at the same time, I get it. I just meant, um... Yuri trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her finger along the words in the poem, as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah. O okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. <laughs> You're so full of shit. <laughs> but that's okay, that's cute. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. See, I, I felt like she was a little narcissistic. Or, or, or arrogant. It could be just the shyness of her not wanting to look, you know, bad in front of the person she likes, but at the same time, it's like, it's okay to be wrong. It's, it's okay to not know. You know? Don't know, ask a question. She seems to be like the elitist of the group. Maybe even Monica a little bit, but, but Yuri seems to be the one that's like, just like, I must be the best! Whereas Monica's more of a, I just have to come off confident. I think the most noticeable thing I realized in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different writing skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you the valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased, though. Biased? How? Um... Well... Never mind. You mean the fact that it has to be cute. Yeah, I, I already kind of figured. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, or to me, or to Natsuki at this point. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do! I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ghost under the light, the tendrils of the hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing, it must be this one, the last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe... Uh... Calms, I think? Calms breathing air. That doesn't seem right. I think it's calm. Oh, it is calm. I think it's like a semicolon. It's hard to tell. Um, I bathe. Calm breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. Okay, so maybe the poems haven't changed. Maybe it's just me not remembering. Wouldn't surprise me. I'll try to get the, through this a little faster, because it seems like it's just repeating a lot of stuff from, like, the beginning, but we'll see. I don't want to, like, accidentally skip stuff and miss something. Um, dot dot dot. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I have such a terrible handwriting. What? I wouldn't say it bad, it's just, I feel cursive is really hard to read unless it's your own writing a lot of times. I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Uh... Well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? That's a relief. Also, I liked the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest. 
Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Jerry? Hoo hoo. Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Tyler. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than just tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps, the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Yeah, a metaphor. Um, lingering in her past last remain. Uh, Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. Well, that's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. Eh? It's nothing, really. Yours was impressive, too, so... Nah. If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. You think so? Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, I was really nervous about doing all of this, but in the end I enjoyed it. I'm going to just keep doing my best for you, Tyler. Oh, for me, huh? That's touching. Ooh la la. <laughs> uh, me too. Who should I show my poem to next? Well, Natsuki is the last person here, I guess. Although... Yeah, because there's only three girls now, which still kind of screws with me. It's like the story just starts over, like, forget Sayori, we're just going this way now. Dot, dot, dot. Question mark? Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. <laughs> oh, lovable, lovable Natsuki. That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. <laughs> It just didn't invoke any emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for your tastes. <laughs> Do you want to get smacked? <laughs> I'll pass. Sigh. Well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Yeah, I told you, you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because our writing style is so dark. Well, here's the thing. I like dark stuff and I like cute stuff. So what now? <laughs> because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't that the point of poems? For people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then it made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. <laughs> uh, uh. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from... The... Wait, didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decide to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Exactly. Age is just a number, man. As long as it's not going to get you locked up, that is. <laughs> Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. I'm onto you, music. You guys heard that. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. 
even though they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Monica is writing something in her notebook. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. <clears throat> they gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Oh no, this is this is going to be the part where they start fighting and there is no Sayori to call. I wonder if it'll like be like, let us call Monica in to deal with it, because... I feel like if I choose Natsuki, she's going to be the next one on the chopping block. But if I pick Yuri's... See, that's, that's complicated. I don't know exactly what'll happen if I pick Yuri's. But if, I'm also kind of curious if something will happen to Natsuki. Is that dark of me or is that bad? <laughs> Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. <laughs> uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. See, that's what I'm talking about. She reminds me of Sayori a little bit with that, that, that kind of notion. How can that be cute? I mean, I think they're all suffering from some kind of depression other than maybe Monica, but even Monica seems kind of fake in that respect, even if they are all crazy. How can that be cute? I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? It has nothing to do with Yuri being skittish as all hell and awkward? No, not at all. Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. Oh, no. Not the type of person to do that. <laughs> Yuri, stand down! Humph. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. <laughs> Looks over at Tyler. What do you think? I'm just sitting there like, help. <laughs> Which people did, by the way. Monica liked it, and Tyler did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. Oh, shit. <laughs> First of all, excuse me? <laughs> I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect to change it anytime soon, unless I, of course, come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. <laughs> and Tyler liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. This is not a pissing contest, girls. Natsuki suddenly stands up, and there goes the music. Oh... I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? <laughs> That's not what I... Ooh. You're... You... You're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Tyler appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Ooh. Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Tyler started showing up. Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! Yeah, and look, at now it says Nat and Yuri. I don't know if it said that, like that last time. Take out your own insecurities on others like that. <laughs> oh, wait, taking out your own insecurities on others like that? You really act. Whoa, what the fuck? You really act as young as you look, Natsuki. Me? Look who's talking! You wanna be edgy, bitch? <laughs> oh shit! Edgy? Sorry that my lifestyle is too much for someone. <laughs> Sorry that my lifestyle is too much for someone of your mental age to comprehend. Oh my god, what's happening? Natsuki's fading away and it's just Yuri. What's going on? 
See? Oh no. Okay, it's just them stepping forward. Just saying, that proves my point. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know. If you want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You think you can counterbalance your toxic... Wait. You think you can counterbalance your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute? The only thing cute about you is how hard you try. Whoa, be careful, or you might cut yourself on that edge, Jerry. Oh. 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 Oh, my bad. You already do that, don't you? Oh. Did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? What the fuck's wrong with this game? Yeah, go on. Let Tyler hear everything you really think. I'm sure he'll be head over heels for you after this. Uh... Suddenly Yuri turns toward me as if she just noticed I was standing here. Tyler! She's, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. Dot, dot, dot. How did you... Oh, it's going by really fast. See, I'm going to slow that down in the actual editing because I want to know what was said there. And I'm sure you guys do, too. Um... Oh, wait a minute, they're giving me a cho- Oh, this is where they make me choose between one or the other. On the one side, I want to pick Natsuki, because that's the one I favor, realistically speaking, but at the same time... Oh my god, I don't know! Like, Yuri comes off as the one that you would think is super dark. And a lot of people would maybe not want to pick her because of that bad experience earlier with the writing and everything that seems creepy, if you picked up on it. But then, Natsuki is seemingly nonchalant and like the calm before a storm. You're just kind of like, oh, you're the only one not acting weird here. That makes you more suspicious. I'm going to pick the Yuri. Uh... What? What the fuck? Um, oh, it's not going to let me pick Yuri. It's going to make me pick that. The fuck? Hi, Monica. What are you doing here? Dot, dot, dot. What are you doing in front of the text? Breaking the fourth wall, are we? Um, hey, Tyler. What's up? Why don't we step outside for a little bit? I'm not sure if I'm comfortable with that. <laughs> I don't know if staying here is any better, though. Okay. Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to just stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. Did you notice that the option for, like, Natsuki kept getting closer and closer and closer? It was almost like, you're picking the wrong choice. Pick, pick Natsuki. You're picking the wrong choice. Pick Natsuki. It was like it wanted to force you into picking Natsuki, and then I still didn't pick it. And then Monica just pops into the screen, like, eyes in your face, like, hi! You didn't pick the right choice, Tyler. Let's step outside so I can break your legs. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. Do you think that's wise to just leave them alone? Especially considering Yuri is kind of... It kind of concerns me leaving her alone with anybody at the moment. ha <laughs> ha. Some president I am, right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. Hmm. Fair. Uh, yeah, actually, I do understand that. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that's what you would want, wouldn't it be, Monica? I am happy to spend time with you instead. Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the classroom. Dot, dot, dot. Aww. She quickly runs away. No. Oh, dear. Well, it looks like they're done. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. 
Yuri is rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms in her forehead. Aww. Yuri. I didn't mean it. The look on her face, though, is somewhat, like, kind of manic looking. I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. Tyler. Please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. E even if you are like that, as long as you're not going to stab me in the back, I'm, I'm cool with it. I don't mind the crazy girls. <laughs> crazy is fine until you hang somebody. And I think Monica hung somebody, so I'm kind of cross with Monica, you know. But aside from that, I mean, I don't have any reason to hate you just yet. I mean, you may be a little eccentric, but let's see where this goes. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. You know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Yeah, I, I don't think that's true, and I actually kind of wonder what sending her home to her father in that kind of... Ugh, that might not be good. Completely. Whoa, 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 whoa! What do you mean? So, completely. Dot, 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 dot. Forget about it tomorrow. Monica, so help me God. Stay away from her. That's not, not, no. Stab it. Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Dot, dot, dot. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something. But she keeps glancing at Monica. Yeah, are you trying to tell me she's crazy? It's that it's it's look out, it's Monica, but you can't control anything. Hmm. You can go first, Monica. I like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. Uh oh. I'll wait for you to be done. Takes a sip from my tea as I casually look at this crazy situation. <laughs> uh, dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Well, I'm vice president, so... Please let me take the responsibility... F uh, responsibility... <laughs> please let me take that responsibility today. It kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It's not that. It's n It's not that. I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Tyler. Ah, the look on Natsuki's face as she was, like, crying and walking down the hallway. I just can't forget about that. I feel so bad. Because, I mean, I think to myself, would the girl be running down the hallway that's sad, or would that would have been different if I had pit Natsuki? I mean, who's to say, you know, Yuri wouldn't have killed her right there in the classroom? I, I don't know. It kind of makes me wonder. But then again, it didn't really seem like the, the choice to pick that person actually went through, so it's kind of hard to say. I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Tyler. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. Sigh. I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble. Monica's gonna take your ass out. You better be careful. Oh! Um... Yuri, are you okay? <clears throat> Huh. Okay, so with the two girls here, the words I pick are clearly going to matter. If I pick something cutesy, <clears throat> it's going to, like, push us in the direction of Natsuki, which I think is a really bad idea right now. So I think we should try to go with anything that would be related to Yuri right now. I just, I just have this feeling, and I don't know if that'll make a difference in a good way or a bad way, but I, I kind of want to test a theory that I have. Um... You notice almost all of these words are the cute words, even? Um, let's try childhood. Okay, that didn't work. Hair, rose, papa, shopping, graveyard. Okay. There we go, dark oriented. Let's say disoriented. Um, massacre. I knew she would like that. Anxiety, secret. I'm gonna say anxiety. I suffer from anxiety pretty bad myself. Um, pleasure, agonizing, explode, fickle, hop, broken, broken, the sea. Forgive. 
give me summer tragedy doki doki this is there a lot i'm gonna just pick it um crimson anger love misfortune vanilla nature misery you know i remember when she jumped and the, the smile for the mouth got like super creepy looking it just kind of keeps wanting to paint as Yuri being crazy, but I think to myself, what if Monica is her breaking the fourth wall and breaking the game? Maybe she's making it seem like Yuri is evil when she's not. Like it's hard to say that you know exactly what's going on, because she may be completely manipulating us. Um, let's see. I want to see who goes with the spies. Really? You really despise people? Are you a hateful person? Hmm. Uh, and tropey Candy bed wonderful an ending. I'm trying to go through these a little quicker than I normally would rather than reading them all out loud because I mean it, It's really not that important that I read them all um, Infallible Depression Sadness Incongruent determination philosophy I always pick the philosophy one. I just love philosophy. Your perspective on the world can have a lot to do with your reality. Uh, electricity, bouncy, defeat, sugar, ocean, raindrops, existence. A vibrant aura, giggle, daydream, the sea. She's gonna like this one. Influgent. I think that's it, how you say that one. Um, frightening. I don't think that's a good word I should pick, but... Yeah, I honestly wonder if it affects the story, like like how exactly it's gonna pan out based on the words you choose. Grief. Um, I don't want to click suicide because I figure that's gonna be her next, because she's quote unquote the cutter of the group. Unrestrained. Oh my god, maybe that's what they were hinting out. Ah, I feel like. I feel like bad things are gonna happen to everybody. I think Yuri's just painted to be the bad guy, but it's hard to say. I don't know. Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. Entering the club room as usual, the, the usual scene greets me. Yuri, welcome back, Tyler. Ah, hi, Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression. Speaking as though she liked all the words we chose, she pops up and has stuff to say. If we had picked more of the cutesy words, I wonder if Natsuki would have been the one that popped up. That's interesting. I wonder how many endings there are to this game, or how many paths there are. Because I know there are supposedly different paths, because I ended up watching a little bit of a different YouTuber's uh, Let's Play through, and I noticed that their playthrough is actually different than my playthrough. Now, I didn't watch any farther than what I've actually played, because I didn't want any spoilers, but... I did notice that, you know, who you pick, what you vote, etc., does change the story a bit. So that makes me really curious to see how the game is going to be based on the way I've played it. I'm not going to watch any more until I actually finish the game, and then I'll probably watch other people's playthroughs to kind of get different versions. But all the same, I am very curious. It makes me wonder, can you save Sayori, or is she unsavable? It's interesting. Um... But the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. Um, considering the way uh, Natsuki was crying, I'm sure it's not over. Um, Yuri glances over her shoulder, looking around the room. Natsuki is reading manga at a desk. And surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. What are you going to tell me? About yesterday, I... I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Hey, everybody has moments of weakness. That, that That's okay, I get it. Your emotions got the best of you. Please don't think we're usually like this. Who's we're? Please don't think we're usually like this. See, th that's what makes me kind of wonder. Do you mean that in like a sense of we're not usually like this because of the game reset, or we're not usually like this because it's just, you know, like the story dialogue going, we're not usually like this because we don't argue like that and don't get all, like, angry and crazy. 
Huh. I don't know. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yeah, and she also pulls me into the corner like she doesn't want Monica hearing this. Yuri. I'm happy that you were considerate and apologized. You don't have to worry too much. Even though it's only been a couple of days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Oh, just just yesterday? Just now? I mean, I, I know I'm a little spacey at times, but Tyler in game, I mean, come on, dude. Something weird's going on, even you gotta admit. Maybe we're just a little extra sensitive because it was our first day sharing, uh, our first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, it didn't make me think any less of you. I had already decided that there was... Oh wait, I had already decided that there's no way you can be a bad person. And now that you're apologizing, I know you really didn't mean it. Uh, Tyler, don't say those kinds of things so frankly. They make me a little too happy. So you're saying, like, say, Ori, I just need to just be nonchalant and not notice you? You're not saying, notice me, senpai, even though that's exactly what you guys have been doing the whole game. Notice me, senpai! And I'm just like, yeah, you cool. And, and then later on, they're just like, no, no, I don't like these feelings. And then bad things happen. Mm. I'm really glad that you're such a understanding person. And I'm really glad you joined this club. Everything is a little bit brighter with you around. And, uh, sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? No. But it's good to see that you're still here in one piece, Natsuki, because after yesterday I kind of... wasn't sure if I would have to go try to find you at your home. Uh, no, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. I'm also kind of wondering why Yuri pulled me into the corner. Like, yeah, let's go over here to make sure nobody hears me. Man... Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. Looks like she's not, like, still mad at her, but that's... Weird. Why are you not still upset? Monica did say, like, yeah, she'll forget about it completely. She, like, emphasized completely. And now, like, Natsuki's here acting like nothing ever happened. Yuri is clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. Right? Uh, no, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. Or you, Natsuki. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. Now you're worrying about Monica? Mm, okay. Dot, dot, dot. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um... Natsuki, about yesterday... Watch, she's not even gonna remember yesterday. I just wanted to apologize. I promise, I didn't mean any of the things I said. And I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. Hmm. Huh. So... Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did I call it or did I fucking call it? She fucking deleted her memory. Fucking Monica is like a fucking string worker at this point. What the fuck is she doing? Did you do something yesterday? Eh? Jeez. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? Dot, 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 dot. And she's, like, super smiling. Considering the way you looked yesterday with the crying and whatnot, I, 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 we know what, what, what happened. We, I pointed it out when Monica said it. I was just like, it was, like, nonchalant enough that at first I didn't notice. I'll admit she almost beat, like, it almost went over my head. She almost got me. And then I saw it and I was like... Gotta watch these girls, they say shit, and you think it's just normal, and then all of a sudden, poof, things start changing. I'll accept your apology anyway if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear, since I was always afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. Hmm. Hehehe. <laughs> yeah, Natsuki, please tell me it's all she has done is deleted your memory. Please say it's still you. No, not at all. I don't hate you. Ha 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 ha. Well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Dot dot dot. Natsuki turns to me. 
You're still on trial, though. Wait, wait, what'd I do? <laughs> hey! Suddenly the door swings open. There's the devil. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Yeah, what have you been doing? You know what? I just now thought about it. I, could, I should probably actually alt-tap and check the files. Because the last time weird shit like this happened, you saw somebody talking about it in the files. Oh, I didn't break anything, did I? Well, here goes nothing, kind of thing. You know what? I'm gonna check. Hang on. Okay, I ran into some disturbing things. Um, I'm gonna show them on the screen now, and... Um, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so... Sorry, I'm super sorry. Looks like Monica's back, and we've gotten some disturbing messages that seem to describe some of the other girls. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah. Well, Natsuki was. I was not. <laughs> what took you so long anyway? Uh, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just locked track of time. Don't you play piano or something as well? Ah uh, ha ha ha. That makes no sense though. You would have heard the bell ring at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Yeah, there's a piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Uh, don't give me more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still not really good yet. Still, it must require a lot of dedication. So, I'm still impressed. Ah, uh, well, thanks, Yuri. You should play something for us sometime. Haha, uh -huh, that's... I'd actually would like to hear her play some piano for us. Monica looks at me. Well, I am working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Hmm. That's so. Maybe once I get a little better, I will. <clears throat> that sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Tyler. Monica smiles sweetly, and the other two girls infamously disappear. Uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Uh, don't worry about it. I was hoping that I could share it with you anyway. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. Probably just you. <laughs> In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So, I didn't miss anything, did I? Not... not really. I choose not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about. Yeah, I think that's for the best. Don't let her know that you're on to her. Besides, Natsuki has already run off into the closet. Tyler... Um... Since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you'd like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club. Yeah, definitely. I planned on it anyway. Okay. Aw. Can we start now? Let's find a place to sit. Uh... I'm being a little forceful, aren't I? No, I think it's cute. You're, you're just excited. I'm sorry. My heart just won't stop pounding for some reason. Ah, going doki doki on me, are ya? Alright. Don't worry about it. If anything, it's nice to see you have so much energy. Yeah. But... I need to try and calm down. I won't be able to focus on reading like this. Take your time. Yuri takes a deep breath and pulls a copy of the book out of her bag. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I take... Oh, wait. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Kind of ironic because I'm sipping on green tea as we speak. Yeah, no, no not at all. I love tea. <laughs> that's a little... That's a little eerie. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> okay, game. Stop being creepy. Thanks, very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. So what kind of tea are you going to make me? That's my question. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, with kind of a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. 
I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk, and then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Focus, Tyler, okay? I'm not gonna say it again. You need to be on your guard, okay? I get it, she's cute, but bad things are afoot, man. You don't want to end up at the bottom of a lake, right? Keep your wits about you. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. That, that's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Yeah, I think she needs some time to get, stop going doki doki and relax. <laughs> uh, did Yuri just leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Did Yuri leave you again? Like, the way she acts is just so weird. Sorry for the misunderstanding. I don't see how that's a misunderstanding, but okay. Later, Monica. Dot, dot, dot. Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Oh, God. Is something holding her up? Yeah, Monica at gunpoint. <laughs> I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. Oh, no. Something bad's not... Oh, something bad's gonna happen. Oh, you hear the music. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. Ha? Ha? Ha ha? Kind of an odd noise. What that? <laughs> what's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It doesn't sound good. It sounds like breathing. <sighs> uh, a sharp inhale, like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Oh no. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Oh god! Yeah? So she is a cutter. Oh man, are you alright? Obviously you're not alright. Damn! See, this this is the kind of situation, if I was stuck in, I, I really wouldn't know how to respond or help somebody with something like this. I just, I would want to help, but it's like, uh, oh, oh, what's going on? Um, we're probably going to have to slow that down and see what it is actually said, but... Looks like things just got reset by the magician known as Monica. Okay, why not? I'm back. Thanks for waiting patiently. Tyler, do you like oolong tea? Uh, actually, yeah, that sounds really good. Uh, yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. You know, it makes me wonder. Every time that Yuri runs out of the classroom like she did earlier on top of just a few minutes ago, is that what she's been doing? Like, Natsuki is the one that outed her when they both, like, flipped their shit. And it seems like Monica is trying to keep my attention off the other girls, and every time my attention is on the other girls, she does not seem happy about it. Hmm. Although, it seems like she doesn't mind Yuri that much. I mean, she doesn't like, you know, me fondling over her and not herself, but it seems like 
she doesn't like Natsuki, because you've heard her talk about, like, her manga and stuff, like, oh, that's stupid. But with Yuri, it, it, like, you see her, like, pop in from time to time and say weird, kind of like, oh, you're not, like, like, Yuri's okay, right? She didn't leave you again, did she? Well, I mean, wouldn't that make you happy, Monica? It seems like she has the opposite effect. It's like, Yuri better be treating you well. I don't know, it's kind of weird. I shouldn't... Uh, I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. Hoo-hoo. In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Uh, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. Measuring? Hmm, alright. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show. My question is, does she still have the cuts on her arm, and maybe you just can't see them? And Monica, like, fast-forwarded past us finding out about it? Kind of seems that way. Because all of a sudden, she seems to be okay, not nervous, and everything's fine. I know that when people cut, I get I get why people do it, you know? the the It's almost like a drug release, because your brain makes what's called dopamine, and it's basically what regulates happiness. And when you get hurt, regardless of whether it's on purpose or not, your brain releases this chemical to make you feel better after you hurt yourself. So if you ever hurt yourself and immediately you like have pain and then you get kind of numb and you have a, a feeling of relief, I mean, it's still going to hurt, but you sometimes have a feeling of relief afterwards. Um, that's the dopamine effect. And that's what a lot of people that cut get addicted to because all of their other emotions or their brain even aren't releasing dopamine on a regular dosage. Like, you're not feeling good thoughts at all, or not feeling happy, or not even feeling anything. A lot of times, cutting will let them feel things, which a lot of people don't seem to understand. They're like, how could cutting yourself make you feel? Wouldn't that just suck because it hurts? Well, yeah, it hurts, but it, like, after that, then you're... It's almost like getting high. It's like, oh, I'm, I'm hurt, but now I'm everything's great! Which is kind of the way she's acting, and it makes you kind of go... Are you sure everything's okay? Because I think you're lying to me. You know, I've caught you lying to me before, you know, but I'm not holding it against you or anything. I was letting it show, and you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. Well, that's good. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do so. And you just say that now after supposedly... Doing what you did in the hallway? I don't buy it. When it's you who's around... When it's you who's around, anyway. Aw. Ah. Well, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Tyler. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Tyler, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Eh? Why is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. I assume it would hurt your arms, probably. Or arm. I only saw one of them. Uh, sorry, I, I didn't realize. No worries. I got back problems. I have herniated discs, so I completely understand your back woes. I just have a back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Yeah, I hear you. I got you. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's mostly because my... Uh... My... Your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading? Yes, man, don't fill in the words for her. I want to see, I want to know more. Yuri, be open with us, man. I mean, I know you're nervous, but I, it's better to be open with people. I mean, not everybody is going to treat you well. That's life. That's people for you. A lot of people are assholes. But the people that do care are the ones worth giving your time to. I have terrible reading posture. So that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieve the book from my bag. Ah, I have some chocolates as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies. I take it since it'll go well with the tea. Yuri and I then sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. 
As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Uh, I don't know what kind of, like, comment that would be, but okay. Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. Aw. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? <laughs> right. Yuri was always kind of cute, but... When she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Man, stop it. This is exactly what you wanted. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand. That's... Wait, holding it with my hand, that's not holding the book. I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Oh, God. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all of my willpower to focus on reading. Dot, dot, dot. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Uh, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Ah, uh, that's... That's okay. I, I won't take any. Ah, oh, that's fine. Have some. It's chocolate. Eh, are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then I might get smudges on the pages. Mm, that's fair. Ah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> this is the point where we start feeding her chocolate, isn't it? My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Yeah, see, see, you hold the book and flip the pages and we'll give you chocolate. That'd actually be pretty cute. <laughs> Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't... Wait, she holds it so that I don't have any harder of a time reading from it. That's cute with the, like, close-up. Look at, it looks like space in the background. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Is that the one that she had all cut up, I wonder? Uh, well, in that case, Yuri's already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then, I take another chocolate, and I hold it up to Yuri. I called it. <laughs> she doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if this situation was completely natural. Yeah, you were planning this. But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Aww. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Eh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. <laughs> you just finally realize what's going on. Did... Did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um... Hi there. So sorry. Guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh... Where'd the music go? Oh god, what's about to happen? Yuri starts to breathe heavily. I... I can't... Tyler! Suddenly, Yuri first really grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. Oh shit, my teacup gets knocked over. Tyler! Ooh. My heart! What was that sound like? Somebody left the room. My heart won't stop pounding, Tyler. I can't calm down. Sounds like you're having an anxiety attack, but I don't know if that's the case right here. I can't focus on anything anymore, though it sure does sound like a panic attack. Can you feel it, Tyler? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? I don't know. I mean, I, panic attack, maybe? By doing this game? Probably not. <laughs> I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. Oh, God, look at her eyes. It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Oh, okay. Oh. Um. Ha! Hello, Yuri. <laughs> nice time this evening, eh? God, she looks like she has realistic eyes now and not like anime eyes. It's kind of weird. Ha! 
Uh, oh god. Um, it's time to share poems. Oh shit, what was that about? Um, I'm gonna go with Monica, just because I think it's interesting out of all the girls, she's the one that's the least interactive, but she also seems to be the one pulling the strings. So I just wanna, wanna see what happens. Tyler, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. And how would you know? I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. I mean, that may be true, and she did borderline look like she wanted to doki doki stab us between the eyes. But then again, I mean, she could have been just one of those people that'd be like, tear your clothes off and things got a little freaky, but mm -hmm, it's hard to say. <laughs> um... Which shouldn't be a problem in itself, but when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Ah, uh, yeah, that would explain a lot. Isn't that kind of messed up? Well, I mean, who am I to judge? I mean, the way I look at it is, she's clearly going through something that if she's not having any help within her life, which I know people that have had this issue, and it's, it's never a good answer to it. I mean, I understand how it works on a psychological level, but I've never experienced it myself. So all I can really say is, you try your best to help that person. I don't feel like avoiding the situation, like us just completely going, well, we're gonna avoid Yuri, is gonna make that better. But it's hard to say, because in this situation, the way Monica's putting it, which we don't know for, true, for sure if it's true, she's saying, oh, well, it's when we make her nervous. Which is the same way with Sayori, if you notice. Sayori was kind of playing it off like, Oh, I, d I don't really want you around. No, I don't want you... This isn't right, you know? Why can't things be the way they were? Which makes you wonder, it's just that way we should handle, you know, Yuri. But then again, I also feel like Monica's the one that killed Sayori. So... Who's to say whether or not our choices were actually the cause of it? She even brings a different one to school every day. Like she has a collection or something. I do like knife collections. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she's just... I think she just gets some kind of high from it. Yeah, that, that isn't necessarily untrue, but there's a little more to it than that. It might even be like a sexual thing. Um, I mean, for some people, it, it probably is. I mean, not in that respect, though. I mean, it's probably unrelated to that. But, alright. But the point is, you've kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault, though. But I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So, I think it's better if you keep your distance. That would probably be best for her. See, that's the thing I don't really know. Like, can you trust what Monica's saying? I mean, the way I look at it is, I think it's going to be like Sayori. If we give uh, Yuri too much attention, then I think... <sighs> this is going to be weird. Mm. If we give Yuri too much attention, I feel like Monica is going to make it look like an accident and use that as an as the excuse as to why it happened. But if we ignore her... She might do it out of depression, due to not feeling anything, and do it anyway. I think this is one of those scenarios where we're damned if we do and we're damned if we don't. But here's the one thing I do know. If for whatever reason we start ignoring Yuri, it means we're going to have to give more attention to Natsuki, which means Natsuki is going to be put on the chopping block, and I don't want to see that either. So I'm not sure how I'm going to handle this. I think I'm going to have to just wait and see what they, you know, put in front of me and see whether or not I can kind of avoid causing more problems. Ugh. Oh, man. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. You know, you haven't really given us the option to hang out with you, considering you're not even, like, really a part of the game or the book, aside from breaking the fourth wall and doing some creepy shit and possibly murdering people. 
which is not helping your case, Monica. I don't think you're a bad looking girl. I don't I don't think you're a bad person. I don't want to think you're a bad person, but I mean, if you did hang Sayori, I, I'm, I'm sorry to say you, you've kind of screwed yourself in that respect. To put it lightly, I at least have it together in my head and I know how to treat my club members. But anyway, I don't know if that's entirely true, Monica, but sure. You want to read my poem now? Well, guys, this is where we're going to leave it. Next time, we're going to read the three girls' poems, and what should we do with the Yuri? Should we ignore her, or should we give her more attention? I mean, I don't think Monica is all that far off in what she's saying, but I also feel that if we ignore Yuri, then Natsuki's gonna put on, be put on the chopping block. It also seems like Monica and Yuri are like co-conspirators. It seems like they are working together somehow. I, I don't know why, but it just seems like from the past, some of the things they've said and done, it seems like they're not really against each other, where you've seen where it looks like they are against Natsuki. A little bit. Not, not so much Yuri, but a little bit. They fight, at least. And, um... Uh, Monica seems to be completely against Natsuki. And you saw where it gave us a choice between Yuri and Natsuki. Eventually, Monica popped in, and it was like, that wasn't the answer you were supposed to pick. Let's just stay over here. It makes me wonder, it's almost like the game is trying to push me towards being near Natsuki. Which would be fine, because I technically kind of favor her anyway, but at the same time, based on what I've seen, I kind of feel like that's going to get, like I said, Natsuki on the chopping block. Hmm. <laughs> What a dilemma. Well, guys, let me know what you think in the comment below, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> We're all fucking doomed. Doomed!